Breakups have been rated to be one of the most painful human experiences on the scale of human distress. But it could become even more difficult when you have to see the person every day after your breakup. So what do we do when we have to see the person we've broken up with almost on a daily basis? A lot of the times what happens is that we end up dating someone from the same friend group or a colleague or they become part of our friend group after we've been dating them for a bit and it's almost impossible to you know extricate them from the group that we're in. So what do we do in that case? What we do is we give ourselves some time. We don't have to see them right away. If you've just broken up and if it's not a work situation, give yourself a break. Give yourself a week. But timed break. Break doesn't mean I'll go see them when I can, when I feel like. Timed break. The moment you've given yourself time break, you know that, listen, this is something that you have to face and you go through what we call exposure therapy. You expose yourself to something bit by bit by bit till the point that you are not that sensitive to it anymore. So say for example you are going to have to hang out with your friends and it's an important friend's birthday and your ex is going to come there, you are going to be there, what are you going to do? Remember that it's less about you and more about that friend whose birthday it is. And communicate to your friends that they don't have to choose sides. Both of you could be hurting and both of you should be uh, paid attention to. So all of this is under the assumption that the breakup was mutual, amicable. So it's okay to talk to that person. Hey, we're going to come there and it might be a bit awkward, but it's going to be doable. Just because something's awkward, that does not mean it's not doable. And if you don't need to then talk to yourself. Talk to yourself and say, it's going to be painful, but not for long. Pain in and of itself doesn't mean run, run, run. Pain sometimes can also mean face it. And when you face it, pain starts to abate. Just know that you are not going to punish yourself with isolation just because of the pain. Know that one of the things that you're doing for yourself by continuing to hang out is that you're not isolating yourself and it's important. So allow yourself some time Tell yourself pain does not mean run away. And just because it's awkward, that doesn't mean you shouldn't do it. Okay? Take good care of yourself.